God is good. God is good. And all the time. God is good. Beautiful day. Yeah. Yes. And I knew before the end of the day, somebody be up on one of those tables singing. Because there's such sturdy tables. Yes. And it happened in the first song. Yeah. All right. Who besides me have a hard time thinking that it's been one year? One year. Oh my gosh. But it's all due to you and this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful community. You know, somebody once told me, Kimberly, if everything's amazing and everything's wonderful, then nothing is. I said, that is not true. No, it's amazing and wonderful. And it and I'm gonna say it. Yes. Because it was one year ago, tomorrow, it's actually October 24th, three days before that, so on Friday, good friend, Jana Zontek, called me and said, hey, would you like to come do a spiritual message in our backyard? Yeah. We have a beautiful Woo! garden. Yes. And I said, well, I can, I can do that. And then she said, and if you want to invite some people, that's okay. We got room for maybe 20, 30 people. So I said, well, how about I make it a Facebook event? And she said, okay. She said, and if it just ends up being four or five of us, that's okay too. I said, it's fine with me. So we, I put it on Facebook and said, hey, I'm going to be doing a spiritual message. And then on Saturday, I got an invitation to a Christmas party from the beautiful Amon. And I said, ooh. I said, hey, Amon. I called her and said, would you happen to be available on Sunday? I'm going to be doing a spiritual message, and I would love for you to come and sing. And she said, anywhere you are, girl, I'll be there. Yes. And so Amon came. She sang so beautifully for us. I delivered a spiritual message. And we opened the doors, though, of that garden, and 40 people were there. Okay. So then the 40 people came in and we had a wonderful time. And then at the end, Miss Elaine Schrauber came up and said, Where do I write a check? I said, What check? She said, Who do I write a check to? I said, I don't know. Who check to. I write a check to. So Cindy and I started talking about that. And said, well, I guess, I guess we're going to have to get a name and a corporation and open up a bank account. So we did all that, and we became a church. <laughs> so we can deposit a lady's check, because we held it for two weeks. And she said, we haven't deposited that check. I said, because we have, a, we got to go through the process. We got to go through the process. Ah, ah, yes. So we like to start here by paying... Tribute to the founders of Unity, Myrtle and Charles Fillmore, with our great invocation. So if you would, let's stand together and say the great invocation. We are now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. We acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom, now erase our mortal limitations and from thy pure substance of love bring into manifestation our world according to thy perfect law. And it is a perfect law. It is. Mm. And it is all brought about by the connection one to each other of all the people in this room. So if you're here for the first time, we'd love for you to remain standing. And what a day you chose to be here. You know, we like to say it's different all the time that it is. Our ushers are going to bring around a bracelet for you. What we like for you to do with this bracelet is to wear it throughout the day today as something touches your heart. We would say infuse that bracelet with that energy of whatever you're experiencing, whether it's a spoken word, whether it's a song, whether it's a friendly smile or a chat with the person next to you, whatever it is, infuse that bracelet with that energy of this connection. And Jessica Tomlinson's parents, everybody. 
So today you are in for such a treat because when we first started, every every week I would say, hmm, what are we going to do about the music? Because we can't run them on all the way over from Brandon in for a week. So, so every week I'd, I'd get on the phone and call a musician that I knew and say, hey, could you provide special music for us on Sunday? So all those musicians have agreed to be back here today, except for Naila, Naila Oluchi Hope, she's out of town, and Lynn DiVanuti. So we love, we love you all. We know you're watching us online, and we love you, and we miss you. But they would have been here, but they can't. And Jessica Tomlinson is here with us. Amon is here with us. Jay Maya was one of those musicians. <sighs> yes. So we are so excited for for what you're going to have in store for you today. Mm. And our wonderful spiritual leadership team, we are all here in force. I want to welcome back our own Reverend Laura Ann. She has been down south. On the day when the storm was supposed to be out, Laura Ann texted me. And, and she was uh, helping a 90-year-old woman make sure she was safe where in a safe space. She said, as soon as I get her settled, I'm going to go down to be with my papa. And her papa lives in Fort Myers. And I said, well, I don't know. That storm looks like it's going to shift. Maybe papa should come up here to be with you. And she said, no, I'm going to get her safe. She said, she's safe now. I'm headed down to Fort Myers. So she ended up being in the eye of the storm down there with papa. And then she's been down there, boots on the ground, doing wonderful work for everyone because Laura Ann's a nurse and so she was out before anybody came around to say are you well doing wellness checks for people and if they said they're well she said I'm also a minister can I pray for you <laughs> can I pray with you so so we love and appreciate our little Laura Ann and so they come up with that and then we have a beautiful wonderful announcement today Yes, we do. So if my helpers for the announcement come up, handsome men all, yes, indeed. I got this. Yes. So when we started, like I said, we thought, you know, after the third or fourth week, we said, I guess we're at church. I guess we are. But really, we have grown into so much more. So, so we thought at the beginning we would become a unity church. And then we have grown through this year to be such a loving community made up of so many diverse people from backgrounds. We have people from the Jewish faith with us. And Marvin's here for the first time. And he said, first time I've ever been at something like this because I'm a good Jew. I said, and we have one. We have a, a lady who is a good Jew on our board. She would love to come over and talk to me. Yes, I do. So we have come from so many different backgrounds, science of mind, unity, Baptist, Catholic, Jewish, um, Hindi, Muslim, all different faiths, Buddhism, and we all come together in love. So we are a spiritual community brought together in love. So we are changing our name, and our new name is New Thought Community of Gulfport. <laughs> what do you think that represents to me all? So you'll start seeing that change take effect on different things, our Facebook page, our website, and everywhere. You still write the checks out to you and you go for it. That's still our legal name. You'll be a Gulfport Inc., a nonprofit here in the state of Florida, recognized by the IRS as a faith based nonprofit or church. Yes. So thank you all so much because without you, none of this is possible. None of it is possible because we are a community of individuals who are unique. God created us that way. We are all unique, but we come together in love to support each other and to coexist in unity 
through love and peace, and that is still our vision and our mission statement. We coexist in unity through love and peace. So, all right. Yay. Thank you all. Thank you. For Hanson Sunday.